Guys, guys, my Metroid cartridge isn't working inside my Nintendo. What do I do? Have you tried blowing into it, Joe? Of course I have, Barack. Why are you even still playing that ancient console, Joe? Why don't you get with the times and play a Series X or PS5? No, keep your fancy-ass PlayStation. The NES is the greatest video game console of all time. Nah, all consoles are trash. PC Master Race is where it's at. Facts, George, on PC, you can practically play any game there is. Wrong. You're forgetting about console exclusive games like The Last of Us and God of War. They put God of War on PC, dumbass, and they're still adding console exclusives to PC to this day. Exactly. Console exclusives aren't so exclusive anymore. The NES was my jam back in the day. It still is, but Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, you can't beat that nostalgic duo, folks. Joe, you're stuck in the past. Game on a PC, why don't you? You got mods, graphics that'll make your head spin, and the freedom to customize your gaming experience. It's like a whole new world. Yeah, PC gaming opens up a world of possibilities. Plus, there's something satisfying about building your own rig. Oh, please, Barack, building your own rig? That's like building a wall around your gaming experience. No need for that when you have the simplicity and convenience of console gaming. Plug it in, pop in a game, and you're ready to make gaming great again. No worries about compatibility or driver updates. It's tremendous. Donnie, you might have the newest toy, but you're missing out on the classics. There's nothing like blowing into a cartridge to make it work. It's like a secret handshake with the console. That's true gaming, my friends. Well, Joe, you can keep your ancient rituals. I'll stick with the power of a PC. I mean, let's be fair though, George. Consoles do have their perks. They bring people together like a good old family gathering, gather around the TV, grab some snacks, and experience the joy of gaming side by side. That's true, but you know what, Barack? PC gaming can have that too, with online multiplayer, which are practically like virtual hangouts. Come on, George, there's nothing like sitting side by side with the homies having a blast playing some Mario Kart or Super Smash Bros. There's also absolutely nothing like trash talking after an intense match online. Oh, now you're talking, George. I remember trash talking on MW2 on my 360 back in 09 all the time. Wait, you were playing MW2 back in 09, Joe? Yeah, I sure was. I probably dropped multiple tactical nukes on your sleepy ass back in the day. Nah, no way. No one's ever nuked me. I'm the nuke-er. Yeah, right. You probably couldn't even get a UAV. Yeah, I could. Stop the cap, Joe. You're terrible at COD. I've seen you die by your own care packages countless times in the White House. Hey, that was only when we first got the 360 and NW2. I was still learning, all right? The 360, huh? Personally, I was more of a PS3 guy back in the day. Huh, only losers like you had a PS3 back then. The 360 was a hundred times better than the PS3, and it's not even up for debate. Cap, straight cap, PS3 had way better games like the Uncharted series and The Last of Us. Well, boys, how about we make a console tier list and see which ones are the best and worst? Let's do it, but we are not ranking every console there is. We'd be here all day. How about we just rank every console that came out after the year 2000, yeah? Sure, let's do it, and maybe next time we can rank some handheld consoles. Or we can rank every Nintendo console made. Not a bad idea. Let us know in the comments if you want to see that. Ooh, I'm excited about this first console. The PS2 holds a special place in my heart. It's obviously God tier. Absolutely, George. The PS2 revolutionized gaming. Although I'm more of an Xbox guy, the PS2 is tremendous. It's a God tier console that made gaming great again. I don't know, guys. I still think the old consoles like the NES were better. They had that classic charm. We're talking about the PS2 here, not some dusty relic. Get with the times. Joe, you're stuck in the past. The PS2 had it all. Great games, sleek design, and even DVD playback. Joe, you can't deny the impact the PS2 had on the gaming industry. It paved the way for future consoles. Yeah, it's like comparing a horse carriage to a sports car. PS2 is a technological marvel. Well, I guess I'm just an old-fashioned kind of guy. Give me Super Mario Brothers or Tetris any day. Super Mario Brothers is great and all, but it can't hold a candle to the PS2's library of games. Yeah, you're missing out on the classics. I challenge you to try some PS2 games like Metal Gear Solid or GTA San Andreas. Shit, I don't know about that. San Andreas might be a little too much for his old ass. You're tweaking, Barack. I spin the block on Grove Street plenty of times in my day. Cap. All right, Joe, let's make a deal. I'll lend you my PS2 for a week. And if you still think the NES is better, I'll buy you an ice cream cone. Oh shit, Donnie boy, you've got yourself a deal. But mark my words, I'll always have a soft spot for the NES. All right, the PS2 is going straight to God tier. Next up, we've got the original Xbox. 
thoughts on this console, boys? Oh man, the original Xbox was a game changer. I mean, it brought us Halo. If that's not God tier material, I don't know what is. I'm with you on that, George. The original Xbox brought some incredible gaming experiences. It's as good as the PS2. The Xbox was a solid console, but I don't think it's quite on the level of the PS2. I say it's good tier. No, you all are getting carried away here. This shit's mid. What? It doesn't quite reach the greatness of the NES. Mid? Really, Joe? Stop fucking around, Joe. The original Xbox had groundbreaking graphics, online capabilities, and a killer game library. That's right, Barack. It introduced us to Halo, the game that revolutionized first-person shooters. How can you call it average? I mean, have you even played Halo, Joe? Halo? Uh, oh, you mean that game with the aliens and the super soldier? Yeah, I think I've heard of it. Heard of it? You're missing out, Joe. Halo was a game changer. Well, maybe I'll give it a shot someday. But for now, I'm sticking with my NES and its simple joys. Suit yourself, Joe. But you're missing out on the power and graphics of the original Xbox. All right, I'm gonna place Xbox on the good tier for now. Next up is the GameCube. This console speaks for itself. Roll that GameCube intro. God tier. Next up is the Xbox 360. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not just gonna brush past the GameCube like that, Donald. Yeah, we can't just rank it off the intro. I mean, that GameCube intro is pretty goaded, but why do you think it's God tier, Donald? The GameCube was on another level. It had it all. Style, innovation, unforgettable gaming experiences, and an amazing controller. I don't know, Donald. I don't think it's a bad console by any means, but I don't think it falls into the same tier as the PS2. I think it fits more into the good tier. Joe, 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 they're always underestimating greatness. The GameCube had the best games, the best design, and the best controller. It's a masterpiece. Also, let's not forget about the GameCube's unique features like that handle on the back. You could carry it around like a briefcase of gaming greatness. Let's be real, who the hell is ever using that handle? You barely ever even need to pick up your console for anything. Nope, George has got a point. That handle is a great feature. And the GameCube's multiplayer experiences were top notch. Who could forget about those epic Mario Kart Double Dash battles? Oh, I do love Double Dash. Damn, Me and chill. Obama used to play all the time back during his term. All right, all right, Double Dash is fun as hell, but who the hell is still playing that game today? Probably not many, but you know what GameCube game people are still playing to this day? Super Smash Bros. Melee. Oh, how could I forget that the best Smash Bros. game was on this console? The GameCube is definitely God tier. The GameCube also gave us classics like Super Mario, Sunshine, and Wind Waker. I think it's gotta be at least goaded tier, fellas. All right, all right, I'll give it some credit. The GameCube was good, but I still don't think it reaches the God tier level. I'll put it in the goaded tier. Next, we got the Xbox 360, and everything about this console is absolutely amazing as well. This console is God tier. What? No, the 360 is not God tier. If anything, the PS3 is. The PS3 was way better back in the day. Wrong. Name one good thing about it. The fact that I didn't have to change the damn batteries on my controller. All you had to do was charge a PS3 controller. Jesus, let's not start a console war here, guys. I do remember constantly having to grab the batteries out of the TV remote to put in my 360 controllers back then. Yeah, see Donald? Whatever towers, even though the 360 controller may have batteries, it is one of the best feeling controllers to ever be made. Shit, you got a point. That controller feels amazing in the hand and it's great for long sessions. The PS3 controller would always have my hands cramping up. I have to admit the Xbox 360 was pretty good, but let's not forget about that infamous red ring of death. It was annoying as hell. Me and Obama ran through six different 360s during his term because of that damn red ring. Ah, the red ring of death. It's like the ghost that haunted every Xbox 360 owner. But you know what, Joe? It was a small price to pay for the greatness of this console. A small price to pay? Really? My PS3 never did that. All right, guys, enough comparing the PS3 and 360. Let's just focus on the 360 here. Fine. Let's not forget about Halo 3. That game was an absolute masterpiece. It brought people together like nothing else. Halo 3 was a phenomenon. But there were other games too, like Gears of War and Mass Effect, that solidified the Xbox 360's place in gaming history. And let's not overlook the Xbox Live experience. It revolutionized online gaming and connected people from all over the world. It was a game changer. Ah, uh, you're finally starting to make some sense, Joe. All right, all right. I have to give credit where credit is due. The Xbox 360 did have a lasting impact on the gaming industry. I'm throwing the 360 on the goaded tier. Yes, finally, we have the PS3. Like I said before, the PS3 was way better than the 360. It had some of the best exclusives back then. Yeah, I do like Uncharted and The Last of Us. Halo 3 is better than both those games combined. Whatever, Donald. 
At least I didn't have to pay to play online every month with my PS3. Ha! What a broke boy. You can't afford just $10 to play online, Towers? Why would I do that when I could just play online for free on my PS3? Stop the comparing. Let's just talk about just the PS3 alone. As well as the free online, the original PS3 models had full backwards compatibility with PS2 games. That should bump this console up a tier alone. I was more of a PS3 Slim guy, so I never had that backwards compatibility. All right, I hear you guys. The PS3 wasn't all bad, but it lacked the same level of widespread appeal as the 360 or the Wii. It's good at best. I might have to agree with Trump. Doesn't help that the thing was $500 to $600 at launch. I couldn't afford that shit with my college debt that I'm still trying to pay off from 1965. Yeah, that thing was pretty expensive. Let's put the PS3 on good tier. Next up, we got the Wii. Ooh, the Wii was so fun. It revolutionized gaming with its motion controls. The Wii brought gaming to a whole new level of accessibility and fun. It's goaded in my book. Eh, I was never much of a fan of the Wii. Always thought that those motion controls were gimmicky. Gimmicky, really, Donald. The Wii brought families together, got everyone off the couch, and made gaming accessible to a wider audience. It's goaded, no doubt. I'm with you on this one, George. The Wii was a blast. I mean, who could forget those fun times on Wii Sports? All right, all right, I get it. The Wii had its charm, but seriously, waving a remote around like a madman? That's gimmicky, folks. Donald, you're missing the point. The Wii made gaming more interactive and inclusive. It had games like Wii Sports and Mario Kart Wii that brought people together like never before. Plus, who could forget the iconic Wii Fit? That thing got everyone exercising and trying to balance on a plastic board. It was hilarious. Exercising, huh? Maybe that's why Donald doesn't like the Wii. Barack, I'll have you know I get plenty of exercise at the golf course. How the hell is golfing exercise? You're literally just swinging a pole and driving around in a golf cart. Hey, it keeps me in shape, all right? And what shape is that? The shape of a fucking boulder? Hey, watch it, sleepyhead. Whatever, Donald. I'm putting the Wii on the goaded tier. Gentlemen, I must intervene. Huh? The Wii is not goaded. It is undeniably God tier. This shit is basically two consoles in one with that GameCube backwards compatibility. Back from the dead again, huh, Kennedy? Though death may claim us physically, our ideas and dreams have the power to shape the world long after we're gone. What? So are you a ghost or something? No, I'm just fucking with y'all. I just borrowed George's time machine again. Oh, bruh. After using the time machine with George, he showed me his Wii. What? And his Wii was amazing, fellas. What do you mean Those by that? Those motion controls are just marvelous. Oh, I see. And let me tell you, I'm a fucking goat at Wii Sports. Try me in the Wii Sports boxing ring if you don't think this console isn't god tier. You are out of your mind, John. Hey! What the fuck do you know about consoles? You died almost 10 years before they even released the first ever video game console. Well, lately I've been traveling all over this timeline just to play all the video game consoles. Consoles. And let me tell you, I've played every single console there ever was and ever will be until the end of time. And the Wii is still one of my favorites next to the PlayStation 9. Whoa, PlayStation 9? That sounds awesome. Tell me more. Yeah, tell us more, Jack. Unfortunately, I can't say too much about the future. Apparently, it'll create a temporal paradox in the space-time continuum or some shit. Anyways, I gotta head out. It's been real, gentlemen. Wait, wait. John, tell me, do I win the next election? Oh, how I wish I could share that information, but I can't just go around sharing future election results like that. Time travel is quite delicate, and some things are better left unknown. Come on, JFK, just give us a hint. I'm gonna win, right? Well, Joe, let's just say the future is a tricky thing. You might want to focus on making the most of the present while you can. You never know what's around the corner. Wait. What do you mean by that? What are you implying, John? Are you trying to say Joe won't be alive for the next election? Oh, Donald, I wouldn't dare make such a bold prediction. But let's just say the future has a way of surprising us all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think it's Lincoln's turn with the time machine. Apparently, he has matters to attend to at a theater in 1865. But anyways, I'll fuck with y'all boys later. Big J out. Wait, no, come back. Tell me I win. Time traveling, video game playing president. I still don't get it. Don't worry, Donald. Some things are just meant to remain a mystery. But man, we still need to throw the Wii somewhere on the list. I'll trust Kennedy's opinion and throw it on God tier. Next is the Wii U, and I gotta say, they missed the mark on this one. Should have just made a Wii 2, you know? Wait, what's a Wii U? I don't think I've ever played it. Uh, is it even worth mentioning? Well, Joe, the Wii U had its moments. I mean, we had Smash 4 and Mario Maker on there. Those games were lit. I used to binge watch Dashie's Mario Maker series on YouTube. Good times, man. Come on, the Wii U was a disaster. Those controllers were a mess, and the whole concept was just weird. Who needs a tablet as a controller? 
It was a gimmick. Quit hating, Donald. You just couldn't handle the innovation. Plus, we all know you struggle with anything that requires coordination. Yeah, the Wii U may have missed the mark, but it paved the way for the Switch. We gotta give it credit for that. I think it's mid-tier, at least. That may be true, but all the good Wii U games have been ported over to the Switch, so there's no reason to go back and play this shitty console. It's going into trash tier. Whatever, Donald. The PS4 is next, and all I remember about this console was how loud the fan got. All you peasant PlayStation users had to deal with that, while us Xbox users had one hell of a console. That shit sounded like I was at the airport next to a jet, about to take off every time I loaded up GTA V or God of War. Aside from that, the PS4 was miles better than the Xbox One, and we all know it. Wrong. The design of the PS4 was sleek and looked way better than the DVR-looking ass Xbox One. Yeah, exactly. The PS4 looked really nice in any gaming setup or living room. Too bad you had to start paying to play online. Before, you'd never have to do this, so this was definitely an Ellen Sony's book. Yeah, not gonna lie, that shit was ass, but at least you had some cool benefits from PS Plus, but still, I wish it was free. Oh, quit it with your peasant talk. Us Xbox Live users have been paying for online for more than a decade at this point. Paying for online is just chump change. Who gives a fuck when we have exclusive games like Horizon Zero Dawn, Last of Us, and Spider-Man? Honestly, yeah. Spider-Man alone was a good enough reason to get a PlayStation before they put it on PC. I can't wait for Spider-Man 2 to come out. Oh, and remember that this was the first time they brought Party Chat to PlayStation. Ah, oh, man, this was amazing. You're 10 years late, bud. Xbox Ben had that. And Xbox Party Chat will always be superior. At least the PS4 UI was clean and way better than the Xbox One interface but I'm putting the PS4 into the goaded tier. Wait, hold on just a second, partner. Which PS4? The PS4 Slim, the PS4 Pro, or the regular PS4, because there's definitely a difference between all of them. I mean, you do got a point, but we're not diving deep into every sub-console because that would just take forever. If you still have the original PS4, I feel sorry for you. That thing is definitely on the verge of self-destructing. Now we have a true winner's console. The Xbox One is a brilliant console and instantly god tier. Hell no, it isn't. I'd rather play Barbie's Dream House Party on the Nintendo 3DS than play the dumbass Xbox One. You disgust me. The Xbox One was a damn disappointment, and we all know it. It looked like an outdated DVR in your living room. And Microsoft, for whatever reason, promoted the hell out of the ability to connect your cable to the Xbox One. Who in their right mind is using a video game console to watch cable TV? I am Barry, and I'll have you know that's one of the reasons why the Xbox One is tremendous. It's the perfect all in one console, hence the name Xbox One. That's a terrible name for a console. They should have just called it the Xbox 720. Xbox missed the mark with that one. I remember watching all those YouTube videos on the Xbox 720 back in the day. Shit, I remember that, and even with the PS4 leaks too. Man, I thought that shit was real back then. Man, I wish they would have came out with the Nintendo 4DS and the NES 2. Sorry, Trump, but I'm putting the Xbox One into the mid-tier. You are all delusional. Well, next we have the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo redeemed themselves after releasing this console. The innovation and portability is absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, I love this console. I can never get enough of Animal Crossing New Horizons. This thing is definitely a huge huge step up from the Wii U, but it's way too small for my liking. Those Joy-Con controllers are tiny. It's them damn sausage fingers you got on you, Donald. It's not the controller. Yeah, Donald, the Joy-Cons are great. Joy-Con boys for life. Rest in peace, Etika. Whatever, but the battery life on the portable mode is pretty trash. I can only play Breath of the Wild for like two hours on portable before I have to charge it. Yeah, I do hate always having to charge the thing, but that Nintendo Switch online service is quite amazing. I can play all my favorite NES games on there. All right, the Switch is a great console. I'm gonna throw it on the goaded tier. Fine by me. Now moving on to the refrigerator console, the Xbox Series X. Funny thing is, is that they actually made a mini fridge based on the design of this Xbox. Imagine getting memed on so hard to the point where they just accept the joke and get right on it themselves. Hey, that's what I call good marketing right there. And there's a reason why it's called an Xbox. Yeah, they took it quite literally with the rectangular box design. The PlayStation 5 is still better though. Why don't we just throw this SpongeBob looking ass console into the trash can? No, no, you will not, Towers. This is art at its true form and you fuckers can't tell me nothing. Come on, Donnie. The Xbox Series X is nothing special. How do you still use goofy ass batteries on your controllers? Imagine still using AA batteries on a controller in 2023. <laughs> I don't care what you have to say, Donald. The Xbox Series X is a mid console. Whatever. The PS5 is fake news and you all know it. Calm your horses, Donald. The PS5 is a dope ass console and that controller is not too bad as well. I don't like the PS5 controller. It feels too weird on my hands and has too many buttons. 
I prefer the NES controller since it fits just right and has a few buttons. Your opinion on these consoles aren't even valid since you're stuck in 1985. Who the hell cares about the PS5? You can't even get it anywhere since it's more rare than Sleepy Joe's ability to stay awake during a meeting. Hey, let me sleep in peace. Anyway, uh, the PS5 is definitely a huge upgrade from the PS4, but not gonna lie. The UI is trash on the PS5. I like the PS4 UI way better. Oh yeah, I agree. I miss the old layout with the party chat, messages, and just everything. But at least I can play my games in a higher frame rate. But I thought PC is better. Can't you get more bang for your buck with a crazy PC build? I mean, yeah, but that shit is fucking expensive, bro. Three to four grand if you really want to be overkill, but at least two grand to have a decent running PC. Again, are you too poor to afford all this Obama? You're a damn millionaire for crying out loud. I don't want to hear it from you, you fucking obese leprechaun. Never heard that one before. Honestly, I'm going to put the PS5 into the good tier since I don't think it's overly amazing or anything like that. It's a trash console, especially with it looking like a damn router. Donald, you are wrong. God, not this fucker it's again. It's undoubtedly an incredible console. Let's break it down. Let's not. The PS5 is a technological marvel with its custom AMD Zen 2 architecture, robust processor, and extraordinary graphics. Who invited this It nigga? brings computational prowess, phenomenal graphics, and lightning fast yeah, loading times to your living room. This beast is capable of harnessing computational yes, power that rivals the most formidable supercomputers. It's the epitome of Jesus gaming Christ. nirvana, wrapped in a sleek and stylish design. This console will make you question reality itself. Wait, uh, where did everyone go?